Maple syrup, mooses, ice hockey, Niagara Falls, beautiful landscapes, polite people and poutine, whatever that is. I love exploring new places and traveling with my bike and Canada has been a country on my bucket list for some time now. Well, me and my knobbly tires, we finally made it to Canada. I've obviously never been to Canada before, so I have no idea where to go. But thankfully, the lovely people at Hammerhead have sent me one of their Karoo 2 head units to help me navigate my way around the Canadian wilderness. Well, it's not really that wild, but it's pretty wild for a Welsh person. And they've also gone one better and set me up with my very own personal tour guide. Hey, my name is Magali Rochette and I'm the Canadian Cyclocross National Champion and we're here today in Ontario and I've been lucky enough to be chosen to be the guide for Manon who's visiting so today I'll be showing her around Canada showing her like what Canada is all about on her first ride here we'll get to explore we'll find new roads we'll find new trails and we'll have a good time so excited to be here today Tomorrow I'm taking on the epic Paris to Ancaster. It's a 100 kilometer gravel race and it's an event which Magli has actually won before back in 2014. I'm gonna tag along with her for a pre-race ride. Right, today myself and Magli are gonna go in search of some gravel tracks. Now, I'm still pretty new to this gravel riding so hopefully she can teach me a thing or two because I've got some big events lined up and well, I've always wanted to know how to properly master the bunny hop, so maybe she can help me with that now. So let's go meet her. So I'm meeting Magli in this super cool cafe called Cafe Domestique in Dundas, and clearly she's already here because her super fancy S Works bike is here. Very jealous of that. But also, this bike here. The Cervelo is apparently Dan Lloyd's old bike from the Cervelo test team days and that brings back good memories, on not it, Dan? Oh, really nice to meet you. Yeah, good to see you too. Thanks for showing me around today. What, yeah. what have you got planned? I mean, we're both racing tomorrow, so yeah, I thought like, just an easy spin. I'll show you some, some of the nice roads around here. And I don't know if you've done the race, but it's quite technical. So I think it'd be good to like find a trail and do a few skills. And yeah, that sounds good. Sure. Sounds good to you? Yeah. All right, well, I'll send you the route, the route then. Perfect. Just a ni nice and easy, easy, gentle pedal. Oh yeah. It's I'm not like, gonna get dropped. No, 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 no. Okay, it's good. an easy one. Cool. Oh, cool. Got the route. Perfect. Looks good. Right, should we finish our coffees and uh, get rolling? Yeah, totally. It's actually quite cold in it's Canada. It's cool, so yeah. yeah, let's finish our coffee <laughs> and then go. Okay, so my first ever ride in Canada, and I feel like it wouldn't really be complete unless I see a moose. A moose? We're we gonna see any mooses on route today? I don't know if you'll see any moose here, but we'll try to find you some maple syrup or something. Oh yeah, that that'll would be good. That would be a good Canadian experience. Definitely. So Magli, how did you get into cycling? Oh, I mean, I was a really small kid and my dad was a cyclist. He was riding mountain bikes and stuff. And I remember always seeing him coming back muddy and I thought, oh, that looks really fun <laughs> and I want to get into it. So that's really how I started cycling. You just wanted to get muddy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then we did mountain biking together and road cycling and triathlon and then eventually cyclocross. And yeah, I just, I just love being on a bike. Yeah, when did you figure out that you were actually quite good at this? Uh, I think I've just always been really competitive. Yeah. And I never admitted it to myself until very recently. <laughs> but I think I just enjoyed, first I enjoyed riding, but then the racing, I don't know, it just made me excited. So I realized pretty soon that I loved it and that I had, that I was not too bad at it. And yeah, I just kept going. Oh. that's quite new to gravel racing like myself. 
I mean, I've only ever done one gravel race and I went off way, way, way too fast and I could not maintain it. Have you got any tips for like how to pace? Yeah, I pace mean, it, well? thing, it is not a track pursuit race. <laughs> so don't go, don't go out full gas. I mean, I think the best way to enjoy your race and to feel, to finish strong and feel like you had a good time, you know, yeah. is to, you really do have to think about pacing. And, and the good thing about being a race with like a mass start with so many participants is that no matter how fast or how slow or what speed you go you'll find people to ride with you know so i think it's probably smart to maybe start fast just to see how you feel but not full gas you Test know the legs yeah exactly yeah. and then like you'll see like okay what are the groups around me and then you kind of settle into your own pace then that's where you can talk, start to think about eating because like fueling for a long race that's important otherwise you're going to crack by the end yeah. So one other thing that really helps with pacing is if you know the route. So one thing I always do with a gravel race is I, I upload the GPX route route on my computer. Yeah. And then like when you know where are the climbs and what's coming ahead, like what's the route or ahead of you, it's so much easier to pace your effort, but also time in your nutrition. Definitely, you know? yeah. Like you don't want to be eating up the hill, but if you know it's coming up in like 5K, and that's one thing I see it on my Karoo, you know? You can you can get that gel in before the climb. Exactly. <laughs> and so that's really nice. And then if it's a long climb, like the on the climbers feature here, you can actually see it. So you're like, okay, I have two more K on this climb. And then I have like a long downhill. So it's easier to know, okay, I can go fast up this climb yeah. and then I'll get the rest. So that really helps. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed I haven't seen a moose yet, I'm not going to lie. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see one in the woods. <laughs> you know what, I don't think I've ever seen a moose. You've never seen a moose? I mean, well, maybe one time on the west coast of Canada, but I... I, are they not, I thought, I thought well, there was moose. There are some here, but I don't know. They, I think they, they like their privacy, we don't see them very often. <laughs> Going into some technical woods now, but I think this might be a good opportunity for me to... Maybe you should follow you down the trials and see See if I can keep up with a with a pro. I think oh. you will. You'll oh. see. It's gonna be the most fun part of the ride. <laughs> oh, what do you think about that? It looks like a downhill mountain bike course to me. <laughs> but in some gravel races, there are some really technical bits, aren't there? They are sometimes. Yeah. So I think it's really good to like you know get practice just before yeah. you you hit them in the race. That scares me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Yeah. I'll show I'll show you. You'll see. Like it's it's a piece of cake. I'll show you. If you have the good technique, you'll be able to do it. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch you do it first, and, right. but then, then I'll analyze how, how you do it. And All right, I'll, I'll show you. Are you going to ride up as well? I'll try. Oh. Wow, fair. Wow. What? <laughs> I thought I had more traction and it's quite muddy, but oh it'll gosh. be good. Oh gosh, you literally flew over that rock. Yeah, that was not planned. <laughs> Let's do it again. Smoother this time. <laughs> Made that look very easy. So what, what, what tips do so, I need? All right, so I think the Two things to make it simple. One, it helps if you really look ahead. That yeah. way you can choose your line better and you know like what's coming up. And second thing, put your weight, like think about putting your weight in your feet. And that- what St that, Stand up out the saddle. Yeah, exactly. Weight stand back. up on the saddle, weight back and like really your weight on your feet. And that way you won't have too much weight on the handlebar. And so you can control everything from the back of the bike rather cool. than risking to go over the, <laughs> over the bike. Let's not do that today, right. Yeah. Do you want to follow me? So then you follow yes, the line. Man. You went down there pretty quick. I'll go. I'll go slower. Little little just slower. Yeah. I, I went a bit too quick the first time. So. Also, you riding up was pretty impressive as well. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't quite that far. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to get going from there. You'll see. It's easier on the way down. It better be. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. 
So try to clip in if you can. Yeah. All right. So weight back. Weight back. Then we'll go here. Boing. Oh. Oh. And then around here. Woo! Yeah, good job. Yeah, I've definitely been dropped. Oh. Oh. Nice leg. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> See? Not too Yay. bad, right? Did it! Yeah! Easy! You're ready now! Yeah, you tackle anything! <laughs> Sign me up to downhill race! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I think I'll, I'll just hop no, over no, no, that no. one. You can definitely ride over, the, oh, over no, this, I can't I'll show you! I can't, I can't bunny hop a leaf! Oh, you can totally go up this thing! I'm telling you, you got this. You don't actually have to fly over it. You can probably just like, just lift the front wheel and lift the rear wheel and you'll be fine. Okay. So the only thing to think about is stand up, you know, and that will be easier. Like don't come in seated. And then really it's all about the front wheel. So if you can just lift the front wheel, the rear one will go. Will follow, okay. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, Let's give you'll, it get a go. It. you'll get it. All right, okay. Yes! Oh. Yes! Good job! <laughs> awesome. Oh god! I don't, know, I don't know why I found that so scary. Yeah, that is not too bad, huh? No, I that mean... pretty good. It's no hurdle, but it's a start. It's a start. It's a start. It's a start. Right. Good job. I Let's mean... go shred it on some trails. <laughs> like a, You're ready like now. Like a cycle cross rider. <laughs> Ooh, bloody hell. Ah, nice. Yeah, right here. I mean, two cafe stops in one ride. That's not bad going. I'm quite liking these Canadian rides already. <laughs> okay, so spoken quite a bit about how you prepare physically for races and events, but what about mentally? Because that is another big side to sport. It really is. I mean, it's sometimes more than the physical yeah. aspect, you know, because at some point, like at the highest level, everyone's strong. So like, how can you get an edge? And then sometimes mentally, so I think for me, it's really important to know and have a clear understanding of what I'm about to do and what is the demand of the race. And that way I can, you know, make a plan for myself and just be just be sure that, you know, I eat correctly and that I go hard when it's time to go hard and just like being aware of what's happening so I can make the correct decisions. But also, you've been racing quite a lot recently and traveling here, there and everywhere. How do you deal with like preparing yourself for, you know, race one day then the next day and then the next day yeah i mean sometimes it gets a little chaotic you know with all the travel and these all these races as you said but i think for me what's important is take a minute before the race and sometimes it's just like a two minutes to breathe and kind of clear out what's been happening and take a minute to say like okay what am i actually doing now like what's coming up how do like what do I need to do clearly, concretely in this race to perform well? And if I have like that two minute to breathe and to like make a space between the crazy life and the racing, normally like that sets me up well to like be excited and know what I'm about to do and race well. Right, delicious lunch. Yes. But now what, what have we got up next? So I found this hill just over here and I think, uh, I think it would be a really nice place to just finish the ride. I think it's gonna be a pretty cool view and I could show you like the view of the city. So yeah. wanna I'm, finish I mean, it right there? I'm not a massive fan of hills, but if there's a nice view top, <laughs> viewpoint, I'm up for it. Yeah, I promise. Right. I, think the, I think the view's worth it. Okay, let's go there. All right. It's really cool, the climbers feature that you were on about earlier has popped up and we've got 0.4 kilometers to the top. Have we done the steepest part yet? I think so. Hopefully you should ease, ease up a bit because might be a pin actually, at least we've got some good views. Oh yeah, totally. Now you get to see the other side of Canada. It's yeah, not true. It's grim and gray and cold. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Oh wow. Look at this for a view. Really nice, huh? So good. I feel like we only just scraped the surface of what Canada has to offer. Oh my God, we, I almost haven't seen anything. I know, yes. I'm gonna have to come back and do 
bit more exploring. You'll have to come back. You'll have to come back with a road bike and mountain bike, and I'll get to show you all. You got all the velodromes here as well, haven't you? We do. Yeah. yeah, I can bring my track bike too. You can even bring your track bike. Yeah, that would be you can awesome. show me the velodrome. Actually, I know. I'd, I'd love to do that. I need to get you on the velodrome. But <laughs> that'd be fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank for you. That was so fun. Show me around today. Yeah. And good luck in the race tomorrow. Thanks. You as see well. See that well. I'll probably see you for about five seconds, and then you'll be gone. Right. I mean, at least now you'll know like how to go down down these hills yeah. and up these trees. So. I can I can get over some trees. Thanks. Yeah. So we'll be good. But thank you so much to Hammerhead for making this video happen. And again, thank you for showing me around. And if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. Thanks for having me. <laughs>